Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Dan Poopery. I am your professor for BME 303L this semester. I'm going to make a series of videos for all the software you need to have installed in this class. So there's a bunch of different pieces of software. I'm going to reuse this introduction piece for all the videos. Uh, so let's just get to it. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to the main Canvas page. You'll see this software button. Go ahead and click on it, and it will give you a list of all the software you need to install along with the days I want you to have it installed by. All right, the next piece of software I want you all to install is called ImageJ. ImageJ is a image processing and analysis package. It's really cool. Um, we're actually going to download something called VG, which is really just ImageJ, but it's kind of like a whole package download. So you're going to click on the link. All right, I'm going to show you how to do this on the Mac since it's a little bit different than the Windows. But really, you just have to click on that uh, Mac OS button. It will go ahead and download. OK, and once it does that, it's basically ready to run. I'm going to open it in the Finder. Um, and so it's already run where it is. But we probably want to move it into our Applications folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into the Applications. And so now we can just run. Uh, image J from here. And so now what happens is uh, it comes up. Uh, usually you'll get a little box that shows like, do you want to run the auto updater now? Um, I previously tested to make sure it would work and I just said no. Um, so it didn't come up for me. But you can say yes. Usually I just say remind me next time because I don't want to be bothered with updating every single time. But if this, if this is what you get, you have uh, ImageJ working. And you can be confident that you're ready to go with ImageJ.